Yeah, okay. I don't like it, but let's do it. Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Open TTD Let's Play Series 6. Thank you very much for all your views and comments and shares recently on the videos. It has been fantastic. Now, one of the comments recently was about the depots, and the suggestion was, why don't you just have a force depot at each end after it's unloaded? And I was like, yeah, why didn't I just do that? So I did, and I removed the ones that we had in the middle of the line here. You can see, look, I've just got rid of them completely. And over here, down at the terminus, on the entrance for this one, so because the uh, because the trains are empty going into the station, I on the entrance, I've put um, the, the, the depots. And down here at London, because they're empty on the way out, on the exit, I've put double depots. Now, in theory, this should do the job, and it means they're not slowing down mid-journey, and we should get better money out of the cargo, because the cargo doesn't get stopped in a depot, because it goes straight from straight station to station without going in any depots at all. Also, in addition to that, I had a fantastic reminder to place uh, land purchases around this area here, um, next to the whole beach factory, so that we don't get any unexpected industries, which is brilliant. That that I needed to do that. I forgot to do that. So thank you very much for your comment. It should be should have popped up on the screen. And uh, there was another one actually that said I should f um, start a city here, um, so that I can then buy a statue in it and all my ratings go up, which is actually an outstanding idea. My ratings are already outstanding apparently. Um, but I think what we'll do is we will start by doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little space for the, the, the thing. We're going to put it just here, the little tiny city. And we should have enough money for it. But if we just come into landscaping, and we're just going to get rid of all of these in that little area. And I think we will we'll just block it off there. And we'll block it off there. Yeah, that should do it, I think. And then we'll just block it off there as well. Okay. think that's fine. Now, if we go into uh, the Towns directory, but hold down and go Fund New Town. We haven't done this for a little while. Um, Tillyton. I like that name. That's a cute name. We're going to put a small town um, and if I do new town and place it here oh there we go that's all you need in a town isn't it? A church and a football stadium <laughs> the next one would have been called Bunway uh, but Tilly Town, I like it so then what we do we go straight into the apparently right there's 70 people living here Despite the fact there's no houses, <laughs> the town is also not growing. But what we'll do is we'll go in and we will do um, build statue of company owner. There we go. So hopefully that will affect the ratings now. Let's see. So I think we've only got one coming out. Um, so Well, we've got these two ratings here. So the ratings here are 39% at the moment. It's going to be difficult to show how much that statue affects everything around here because the ratings of that harbour are going up at the moment anyway because we've only just put it in and added the new boats. Um, so now we've got a little town with a football stadium, a church, and a statue. And of course, 70 people somehow live there. They probably all just live in the basement of the football stadium or something. Well, there we go. That's the first few jobs for today all done. Uh, now, I did go onto my Discord, and if you want the link to the Discord, it is at the bottom of my website. If you go to my website, masterhellish.net, it says it just below my name here, um, you can go to the bottom of the website, and the links to absolutely everything's on there. All my different YouTube channels, my live stream locations, social media, Discords, and even the places in-game where we meet up with our, like, for example, the GTA club that we have. 
all that stuff is at the bottom of my website so you can come over to the uh, to the discord and we can chat in the open ttd channel and i asked the ttd people what they wanted to see in the next episode and basically they were quite there, there were some suggestions in there uh, and one of them was uh, to delete the entire network and start again but that was a joke um we had some about um, helicoptering workers out to the oil platforms that we're using. That could be a fun thing to do. And um, we also had stuff um, move things from one place to another. <laughs> yeah, and we had a, a suggestion of a wood line. Uh, now, I don't see any need for us to do one, apart from the fact we haven't yet. So if we go into uh, the... Is it the company? No. If we go into the company league table, you can see that we are a president. And if we go into the detailed performance rating, you can see that if you look at this, we're getting relatively good scores. Now, whilst we, I don't think we've done any wood at all on this map. There are some forests about. I have no idea where they are, but but there are some forests about. Surely. Um, right? Aren't they? Where, where are they? What's... What, am I just not seeing them? I mean, there's a sawmill. I can see a sawmill. Interesting... Um, interesting thing about the sawmill. On one of my early videos, somebody thought that the sawmill sound, that, that kind of saw blade noise that you hear sometimes, um, was a sound effect that I had added to the video to try and tempt people to um towards the life of the devil ah there we go there's a there's a that's why we're not seeing them look there's they're camouflaged in quite well there so they do exist um which obviously is uh, hilarious and ridiculous um but it's just funny some of the content uh, the comments that i get on my videos anyway um even with not doing any other forests you can still see that for the cargo rating here we're still delivering nine different types of cargo out of the eight required. And that's because the game has uh, all of this many cargoes. So how many is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So the game has eleven different types of cargo in it. And you only need to do eight different types to, to fulfill that cargo requirement. I kind of feel like we need to, though, just like for some sort of level of completeness because we just haven't done it so if we go map of the world and we get rid of the station name uh, the town names we switch to industry mode and we turn off all industries except the forests I see and when you hover over them it blinks so if we look over the main body of the United Kingdom because there's not many there's not many industries up north because of the hills prevents them being automatically placed. If we have a look, we've got 142 forests to choose from. And there is a very, very large concentration of them in Norfolk. So if we got them all together there and then maglev them somewhere else to a sawmill... That would be quite good, wouldn't it? Okay, let's have a look. So this is going to be relatively difficult to see, but look at this. We've got two here, one there, one there, one here. You could easily put a station between these two, I think. Like, sort of... I'm not doing vac tube construction. We need the money. Um, station design, here we go. So if we do, like, for this wood one, if we do, like, a longer station... So like a 10 by 4. We can very easily capture both of them. We can have both of these ones. I might have to shuttle that one in. Okay. Let's let's look at doing this. This is cool. I like this. We'll, we'll have to shuttle some of them in. I have no idea where this line's going to go. Or how it's going to get past Hull Beach. Or Tillyton. Which maybe I should rename Hull Beach Factory. Can you you can rename can you can't you can't rename factories? Can't rename them. Didn't realise that. Um but yeah, I'm I, I think the railway line would have to come sort of like 
maybe south of King's Lynn, and then kink up a little bit here, past Spalding, and north of Bourne. And then we can go somewhere to a sawmill over here. Maybe that one or something. Yeah, okay. I don't like it, but let's do it. <laughs> so, we'll start off with this station over here. We're going to do the industry station, renewal stations. We're going to find a wood loading station. We'll do uh, platform length 10 because we're going to do some long trains on this one for a change. Um, and we'll do four. We'll have this as our out. We'll go into building mode. Uh, now, because this is a row row station, we need signals on the exit. So let's just do that. There we go. And we'll need an entrance like this and a signal before the entrance and because it's a loading station we're going to have dual depots before and that's a dual forced depot I'm not going to make it a forced one I'm going to make it an optional one and we'll have a dual optional one afterwards I think as well there we go so if they've been sat there loading a little while they may need the depot and there's one straight afterwards Fantastic. Okay, now I think before we start building the line, maybe we should work on the next station. I don't think it's possible to incorporate all three of these, which is a shame. But let's get another two in, shall we? So that... Hang on, let's get this right. That supplies wood? Yep. And that supplies wood? I want to get this as far away as possible. Well, that's the wrong orientation. It's a good job you can just go over it like that. There we go. Now, for this one, we are going to do a terminus, but it's going to be a slightly different shape to the other one because we can't come out this way. Well, maybe we could, actually, but I don't want to. I want to make a turn here. I want to come around this corner. There we go. Because we're doing a row row station. Oops. Signals on the exits facing the right way around into the station would help rather than just anywhere Now hopefully this will be a nice little money maker for us. I don't know if it will be And I can't remember how much we've spent on it, but never mind Let's have an entrance in here Okay, so there's another railroad station Now I've just noticed this railway line has pretty much crashed into this town and I can't get around that corner. So we're going to try and delete. Yeah, the local authority refuses me to let me delete one of those buildings. So what we'll do is we'll plant trees. Then hopefully if we go to the local authority, they think we're good. Then we can remove those two buildings and actually get a proper diagonal in here. Okay, now down here, what we're going to do. We need to turn around but between the station and Norwich. But... Length 10 trains. We're not going to have a length 10 diagonal. So I think we're going to take the hit on that corner. Come out 10 here. And we can't we can't come out 10 there, can we? No. Okay, maybe maybe we just we just take the hit. And just deal with it. I don't know. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to that in a minute when we can see what the rest of the line's like. So we're going to use this because we generally need to come. What did we say? We was coming under King's Lynn, didn't we? It's so like through here. With the line. So that's where we're trying to aim for. We're going to have to... I don't know what we're going to have to do here. Where are, where are our wood stations are over there? Um... Maybe come over this way and down there. I don't... I'm, I'm not... Hmm, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's work this out. Because this uh, Durham Farm Hub is just right in the way. We can go under it. Length 10 trains, uh, you know, a tunnel of that length isn't going to be too much of a problem. But there's a lot of infrastructure here. 
It's a lot of infrastructure everywhere, isn't there? Let's let's just go straight and see what happens. Let's try it. So we go down here. What's there? That's part of the station. Okay, let's let's trim down that station. Actually, I don't think it's going to make a difference because we're going to hit. <sighs> Got an idea. Got an idea. What we'll do is we'll do it to here, but we'll double up the tunnels. I think that's right. So it comes in there and out there. Hmm. And then we've got a similar situation here, but we're going to have to, to keep it neat, we're going to have to kink it over. I guess like that. Yeah, that works. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And the problem here is is that coming in this one wants to be the main one out, I think. Yeah, it does. Because what I'm trying to do is keep each length the same. So no matter which tunnel you cho choose to go through, the length of the track is the same with these bits of diagonals. So on the way in, you can diagonal left to go into the alternate tunnel. But on the way out, if you didn't diagonal left, you've got to then diagonal left to get back onto the line over here. So let's do uh, a train length here and then bring it over. There we go. Yep, that, that will balance out the tunnels nicely. So on the way in, we'll put a signal there. On the way out, we'll put a dual signal on the exits. There we go. That'll have good throughput under that tunnel. Then, I think we can just come down here, straight past a forest. Uh, we're going to have to go under here, but it's going to be a relatively short tunnel, I think, compared to the train length. So, let's have a look. Yeah, it's alright. Just do a normal set of tunnels there. Which means that this station is having to link up to that. Which is not good. So what we'll do is we'll come up here to, to 10. Then we'll come out here to... Nah, that's too long. To 10. And then we'll diagonal across straight onto it. Just to keep this area nice and smooth for the accelerations. Yes, okay, that's good. Now the next question is, is how we're going to get these two to connect up. There's a piece of road here, we'll get rid of that. I guess... We just have a sharp-ish turn? I mean, there's not much I can really do about it. Because if I if I make this diagonal longer, I'm making this section and this section shorter, which I don't want to do. So let's let's do it so that that's length ten, that's length ten, and then we just deal with the fact that we've got a short diagonal there. There's there's not much I can do about it. So that's one station hooked in. Let's have a look at the other side now. We've got this station. This is our exit and this is our entrance. So this entrance should be pretty easy. I will just do something like this. There we go. We just merge it. Bring that back. Bring that back. Brilliant. Set, sorted. Fantastic. That's that's the wrong one. Can't believe I got that wrong already. That is not, that's the entrance. It's fine, it's fine though. So what we can do here is just a little tunnel under the trees, because I'm sure the roots of the trees are not going to get interrupted with a tunnel. There we go, it's fine now. It's fine now, don't worry about it. It's fine. 
Um, so that's that one. In fact, it makes it easier and neater on that side of things. What we could do is instead of having this one bend round out this way, we could defy the laws of nature, come down here. Ooh. Okay, now we're thinking outside the box a little bit. Um, this is a bit weird. Well, there we go. Get a tunnel in there, and then this could co come around the other way. Which is a bit naughty. But it looks like it'll fit. Okay, let's get rid of all that. How to do it neatly on here, though, is interesting. Um, you do something like this. Yeah, I'll be alright. The only problem is, I don't think... Oh, we can get a double depot in there. Alright, there we go. We'll make it an optional one. That one's not an optional depot. That one's not an optional depot. There we go. Fixed all the depots. For those of you who are screaming at the screen, it's done. So again, we're in the same sort of situation here. We could have a length 10 here, but it would come out to there. I think we're just going to have to bite the bullet and just diagonal in, but we'll just have a big diagonal. Oh, that's... I can't do that. We crashed into the industry. There we go. That's kind of the best I can do, I think, with that. So, we'll put a signal in there. And then we'll put a signal in there and get those ones in. That one's already got a signal there. That's good. So, those two split off there. Those two come together there. That all looks fantastic. So, we'll pop a couple of signals in. We'll have one there and one there. Push them down the lines. Okay. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Because of the signals here, I have to redo it. Fair enough. There we go. So we've got two double stations in there now, going along this line that goes, well, at the minute, to nowhere. Um, but that's not a problem. That's not a problem. I'm, I still have no idea where it's going. Let's get the other end done, and that might do for now. So what I'm thinking, down here, we should really dig a trench. Um, and let's see how close to Sutton Bridge we can do that. There we go. So that's where I want to be heading towards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab that, push it down here, and see if we can get past this station. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be fine, I think. So just make sure that that's all right. Yep, that's okay. Just bring the land out there so we can pop the tunnels in. Just there's no going down once or up usually in a train length is not a problem. And that just makes it look nice and neat. You don't have to keep going up and down. It's its own little speedway furrow through the area which I quite like that's that that's fantastic that is and we'll just come out here and we will put in a little kink and as my t-shirt says on my on my store hellishstore.net there's nothing wrong with a little kink there we go so now we need to find a sawmill so <laughs> There's bound to be one somewhere around here, he says. Uh, what if I built this line and there's just no sawmills? Let's turn on the sawmills. They're the orange ones. Okay, so there is one here near Peterborough. But it is well buried into the side of the city now that Peterborough has grown to 60,000 people. And it's also on the opposite side of all this infrastructure to where our railway line is. So we won't be using that one want to go a little bit further so going further to the west we've got these two sawmills here as options so let's have a look we've got one here it's got a moderate amount of space around it we could use that one and we've got one over here it's got a medium amount of space but also lots of land hilly bits so here's our winner this is the one we're going to go for so what we'll do here is we will do We'll do a six track, 10 length drop off station. 
Now, oh, hang on a minute. We've got the wood collection station. Is there a wood drop-off? There isn't, is there? No, not really. I mean, we could just do a heavy freight station. I like, I like the look of that. Oh, the local authority hate us. Well, we'll keep it as it is for now. So, we'll get the diagonals in here for the entrance. Pop a signal in before that split. Get a double optional depot right before. Really, if it's optional, it shouldn't be on the line. But we'll see if, if the trains are backing up here because trains are using the depot and it's causing any slowdowns, we'll pull it off the line. And then yes i mean with it being a terminus we'll definitely need signals on the exit and i think i'm going to split this into two exits just because coming out of a terminus with this many lanes can be a little slow uh we've got to go round this town anyway so let's do that let's line it up for that so let's immediately diagonal down to there. And then this one will push out. Uh, no, we'll leave a gap, but we won't leave a gap like that. We'll do it like this. And then that will give us the opportunity to add double depots here for both of them. Again, optional depots. So. We'll get rid of the foot bit and bit of track, but leave the other piece. We're going to need some signals in there. So signals before the depots. Fantastic. And signal before the depot there. And there is our station. Oh, is that Edwell Woods? Ed Edwell Woods? I'm not sure, to be honest. And then these two need to merge down. So what we'll do is we'll give this one a length of 10 then bring it in here that should do it right yeah that's fine and then we've got to bring these together and get them somewhere down here now it looks like if we go under Keyworth we're going to have a relatively straight run where we don't hit too many other towns we have got a bit of road here that we need to get rid of though and there is a little bit of hillside here, which for this line, we're just going to get rid of. Keep it nice and neat. I mean, I didn't need to get rid of that. It wasn't going to slow the trains down. And, oh my, look at that. Fantastic. Almost like poetry. Beautiful. Now... This is where we've now got to get our two bits of lines together. It might not be too difficult. So we've got it down here, and we've got it... Oh, that's going to be fine. That's going to be fine. So let's bring that all the way over here. There we go. And it's coming up to the East Coast Main Line, so we're going to have to go under that. So under, under, under tunnel. Is that right? Yep, that's right. And then we've got to go under this one, I guess. I suppose we could keep our going down theme. We'll go up through this farm, I think. Or, yeah, we'll go up through the farm. I wonder how far across we need to be to get under there without a diagonal. Oops. Wrong tool. No, no, no. Yep. There. Okay, let's have a look. So if we put tunnels in here and then start a diagonal going down, that will be fine. That will be absolutely fine. Let's start that diagonal. Remember, you can do diagonals with the these sorts of tools by holding control. This is something I didn't know at the beginning of my open TTD career. Make sure we get that last little gap. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, clean that junction up. I did not mean to do that. There we go. Oh, no. No, I didn't mean to do that either. There we go. It's fine. Don't worry about it. There we go. 
So we come all the way along here, lovely nice straight, stra uh, straight long one. We come down one, then we stay down under all these little tunnels, and then come back up to head under these long tunnels and back to the wood. Fantastic! Look at that. That's brilliant. Um, signals need some signals down this line now, so we'll just come down to here and push them along. And as long as our line's connected all the way down, the signal should be all the way down too. Brilliant. Okay, let's get some trains on this. So, in this depot, we're going to go for a new vehicle. We're going to go with the Lev 1, 100% maximum reliability. Doesn't mean it won't break down, just means that it's it won't break down when it first starts losing that. And we're going to be shifting wood. Flatbed wagon for wood. What we could do it's come into this cargo types feature. Choose wood and then it'll only show us a flatbed wagon. And we're gonna need length 10 trains for this. So we've got some length, most of ours are length six. We've got a couple that are smaller and we've got the big long ones, which I think are 12 going on the dual, the bi-directional coal network. But these ones, these ones are gonna be our first tens. So we're gonna full load here and then come all the way down here and unload. There we go. And then that's for one of double station. I'm calling it a double station because it's um, handling two industries. This one is also handling two industries at the moment. So we will get another train which we will clone this one. I won't hold control though because we don't want shared orders. So we do have a copy of the orders but they're not shared orders. We can get rid of the first order Hold control to do full load on that one. And then that one's sorted as well. Brilliant. Now, we're going to need a few trains. I don't know how many. I think let's start with five. Because they've got to get all the way down there and back again. And we're servicing two industries at the moment. And that's probably going to change. Let's start with five and see how it goes. We'll set them on their way. And I think that will do us for today. It's been a little bit of a long episode, but it's all cool. Um, I, you guys seem to like the longer episodes, so we're doing it. We're putting the longer ones in. But please do remember, let YouTube know that you do like these videos. Hit that like button um, and share it with anybody you think might also enjoy it. I think what we can do here is that we've got an extra forest just down here. We can shuttle that into this station and we've got an extra forest there we can shuttle that into this station so join me next time for wood part two and uh, we'll do some more things with my wood and uh, i'll see you soon take care thanks for watching leave all your thoughts ideas and questions down in the comment section and i'll see you then goodbye <laughs>